Welcome once again to another episode of the Clark Ortiz Show. You don't want to miss this broadcast because I'm going to break down a powerful scripture in the Word called Psalms 23. I know you've said I've read it, I've known it, I've seen it on cups, I've seen it on books and magazines, I've seen it on posters. But what is the secret behind Psalms 23? And I want to share this with you so you don't want to miss these next 30 minutes. They're going to be exciting. Well, let's go ahead and get the Clark Ortiz Show on the air. Thank you so much for staying tuned with me here at the Clark Ortiz Show. I'm inside my office once again, and I promised you that I was going to share with you this scripture and the secret behind Psalms 23. You know, when we've read this scripture, we've read it sometimes for burials, for marriages, uh, for births, and I want to show you the secret behind this scripture. This scripture, if understood and read throughout the day, we could do it every day or once a week, there's a power behind this passage that will set you free from any kind of bondage that you're going through. Watch this. It starts off with, the, it starts off, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leaves me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, I want to give you the secret behind this verse right here. There's a truth in here that will set you free in every area of your life, if we can learn this. It's, it's almost an outline of what it is that God will do with you and for you, how he will change and transform areas and advance you, an area of prosperity and healing and protection and growth for you, your family. But you have to break it down. Sometimes we're confused when we're reading the scriptures that we think that this is just a book of stories or examples or analogies or proverbs, though it may be. But more than that, this is a book of outlines that outlines the various blessings and items that God desires for us to have in our life. Watch what it says. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He says, God is your pastor. He's the one that prepares you. The word pastor means a preparer. A shepherd, remember in the, uh, a shepherd who takes care of the sheep, what he does is he leads the sheep, he guides the sheep, he takes care of the sheep. He wants to make sure that the sheep are not hurt. He wants to make sure the sheep are fed. He takes care of them. He puts them in right places. Today, pastors are preparers. They prepare us for the coming of our king, our master Jesus. The shepherd, the pastor, prepares us so that way we have all impurities off of our life, all issues off of us, so that way we can, we can take advantage of the power of the word of God. And he wants to prepare us so when Christ comes, he doesn't find us lacking. He wants us victorious. He wants us delivered. He's our shepherd. That's why he says, I shall not want. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have any wants. It's that he's going to take care of the wants as you have them. That's what we learn in the scriptures. Jesus tells us, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, according to his will, he hears you and you shall have the petitions that you've asked of him. Why would we ask him for something that we can never have? Why do we desire for things that we need to have, like food and shelter and increase in salaries and, 
and clothing? Why is it that we find ourselves with lack in our lives and not expect our shepherd, our pastor to take care of us? He wants to take care of us. That's, he's, not a, he's not a genie that you rub a lantern and he gives you three wishes. He's a God who creates those things inside our lives that are lacking, that are missing. He wants to take care of us. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Watch this. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He doesn't put you in thorny pastures. He doesn't put you in problems or issues. He puts you in green pastures, pastures that are vital, that are, that are full of life, that have all the energy that you need, someplace soft and comfortable. A, sh a sheep requires, their, their skin is very tender, their wool and their hair is, is very fine. And if you think about this, when, when the sheep, the wool is, is pulled out, it's made into string and it becomes strong and it's soft and it's caring. My shirt that I have is a wool shirt, the, that shirt that I have on right now. It's very warm in the, in the wintertime and cool in the summertime and I can wear this throughout the day and be very comfortable. The sheep's hair is that way, why? Because they have to be taken care of. You don't put them in places where there's sticks, where it devalues their hair. So he says he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He says he's gonna put me in a place that I will be valued and I will be taken care of. He says he leads me besides the still waters. See, a sheep needs to see their reflection in order for them to drink from the water. If the water moves and it's, uh, it's, it's nervous water, what's called nervous water, is rushing water, they're afraid. They don't want to get sucked in. And, and they, why? So that way they can see if there's an enemy in the water that could probably take them. So the water has to be still so they're not spooked. So what does this mean? God wants to provide for you security and safety. This is why he goes on and says, he restores my soul. Because those, es those issues and those cares that we go through in our life, the challenges that we have inside our homes, he wants to be able to satisfy them and take away all the problems and cares and concerns that we may have. He wants to remove them off of your life so that way you can walk in life of care and love and grace. He wants to make sure that you're taken care of. Hey, I'm going to continue along this word, but I want to take a break right now. And I want you to hear this message that's going to come, but don't change this channel. Because when we pick this up, there's a part of this passage that will set you free financially throughout your entire life. So you don't want to miss it. I'm Pastor Clark. We'll be right back. Artritis, dolores articulares, dolores musculares, dolores, 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 muchos dolores, una solución. Be Miracle. El milagro de vivir sin dolor. Hace más de 2,400 años, los griegos descubrieron los poderes desinflamatorios de la apitoxina, el veneno de las abejas, que es 100 veces más poderosa que la cortisona, pero sin sus efectos secundarios. A nosotros nos gustaba pasear, caminar, bailar, ir a la discoteca, pero nos llevó la artritis y nos lo arruinó todo. Y ahora, tomando una capsulita diaria del veneno de la abeja, volvemos a disfrutar de la vida. Y gracias a este milagro podemos ser felices. Con una cápsula diaria del veneno de abejas, volví a vivir sin dolores. Be Miracle, el milagro de vivir sin dolor. Are you nearly maxed out in your credit cards? It doesn't matter if you're using your credit cards for fun or to survive. At the end of the month, your statements come in. And you can either pay them or you can't. If you can't, late fees and interest rates get tacked on. And now, you're struggling just to make the minimum payment due. Do you feel trapped? Am I talking to you? Good, because I personally researched some companies that can help you. They may be able to reduce your credit card balances by 50% and stop the late fees. If you qualify, please call our special debt hotline number right now for a complimentary free five-minute consultation. Deal with your credit card problem now before it gets much worse and put more money back in your pocket. Trust me, I've been there too. Call right now. Call 855-380-5699. That's 855-380-5699. 855-380-5699. Thank you so much for staying tuned with me here at the Clark Ortiz Show. I'm Pastor Clark, and I'm going through a study 
of Psalms 23, and I left you here on verse 3, where it says, He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Oh my God, this is the best part of this passage. He leads me in the place of righteousness for His name's sake. And some people get so caught up when, when we talk about the prosperity of God that you think I'm talking about you being blessed because of you. <laughs> it's so far from that. God desires for you to be blessed. He wants you prospered. He wants you to have a new house, a new car. He wants to make sure your bills are paid off. He wants to make sure you have good food in your body and that you're exercised and that you're healed. Why? Not because of you but because of him, for his name's sake, because he is the one who will receive the glory or the blame. He's the one that is going to receive the praises or looked upon as bad. If, if you are going through a bad time and you keep saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, God, and nobody ever sees you being blessed, they'll begin to wonder, what is it about God that is any good? They'll begin to question about whether or not it's worth it. My friends, God desires to bless you, not because of you, but because of him. He wants to bless you because he's a good God. And he wants everybody to know how good a God he is. <laughs> That's for his namesake. He says, he leads us in the path of righteousness for his name sake. That is so powerful. I love that part. It's, it's his testimony. Our testimony of what God has done for us is his testimony. He's the one that will receive the benefit, the glory, the testimony of whether or not he's a good God or not based on how he blesses us. He says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I have confidence that my God is with me, that though I may go through a challenging time, a situation, a life and death position, I will fear no evil. I have to tell you something. There was a day in my life that I almost died. Let me tell you about this. I was in the island of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a little tiny island out into the Atlantic. The north part is the Atlantic. The south side is the Caribbean. It's one of the first lands that Christopher Columbus had, had uh, landed in when he came across the sea. It's about 1,500 miles away from Florida. So it's a, it's a distant island. And, and here I was building a Christian TV station in the island of Puerto Rico on a mountain called Aguas Buenas. And I'm, I drove this little tiny Jeep called a, a Suzuki Samurai. And this tiny Jeep, very tiny, very lightweight. And where, the, where the, the station was, was up on top of a mountain that we had to clear a path for. There was no roadway there. We cleared the path. Now, the dirt and the clay and the mud of the island is very, very soft and silky and smooth and slick, almost like a butter texture. And so when it rained real bad, all the mud slid down into the roadway that we created. So I put the Jeep in 4x4 four four because I needed to get up to the mountain to preach the gospel, make sure that the station was transmitting right. And so I began to drive along the mountainside where there is no road. Well, as I was going up the mountainside, on one side, on my right, there's a cliff that goes down about 200 feet, but behind me on the roadway that I turned off of, there's a drop about 1,000 feet. And I decided to make this decision to drive up that mountain going straight up about 40 degree uh, angle. And as I'm driving up, I was going up and slowly the Jeep started to, the tires began to slide. And I began to go down like this, slide to the right towards one cliff. So I steered a little bit to slide to the other cliff. And I thought to myself, Lord Jesus, help me. Because I started going down very fast where there was no way I was going to be able to jump. There's no way I was going to be able to stop. And I was headed right to that cliff. Then suddenly, feet from the cliff, the Jeep stopped. That little samurai just stopped. And I said, Jesus, 
I said, let me get out slowly. So I went out slowly. I'm, I'm on the cliff on the right-hand side. I'm on the roadway, a very slender roadway, and then a cliff behind me. And I said, how am I going to do this? And I, and I get off of the, the samurai, and when I look to the right to see what had stopped me, there was a, a little tiny branch that was about as big as my finger sticking out of the ground, and my Jeep had stopped that branch, had stopped at that branch. That branch was no stronger than for me to go like this and break it, yet it was holding up that entire Jeep. I believe an angel of the Lord was holding the Jeep up because I was just feet away from my death. And I got out, I was able to get out of the Jeep, and I looked at it, and I said, Oh, Jesus, you have protected me. Well, the Lord ended up sending somebody. I didn't know who they were, probably an angel of the Lord. Never met him before, never met him after. He came, and he said he saw me. And this man and a couple of other people that were with him picked up my Jeep and carried it the rest of the way to the little roadway and put me down on a safe travel. Only God can do something like that. He protected me from falling off the cliff. He stopped the Jeep with a little tiny twig. He sent me these, these four men that were very small, not very big, but yet strong enough to be able to carry that Jeep and put me down on the roadway nice and safe and gently. Only God can do something like that. Save my life that I can bring this word to you here right now. Hey, we're going to take a break, and then I'm going to go through the conclusion of this word. I want you to hear every bit of it, but I don't want you to miss out on some announcements and some information about how you can be a partner with us here at the ministry. I'm Pastor Clark. We'll be right back. Recover Now is a national campaign aimed at the education and awareness of the devastating effects of opioid and heroin abuse and curbing drug and alcohol addiction in the United States. Recover Now is sponsored by treatment facilities nationwide. Many of them have been where you are, and they want to help by spreading a message of hope and recovery that can help you or loved one get clean in 7 to 30 days. Through treatment, I was able to overcome those demons and focus on my family again. Recover Now is embarking on a national outreach campaign on TV and radio to promote anti-addiction messages. So if you, a loved one, or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, do not wait. A new life for you could be 30 days away. Call us right now. I promise this call can change your life. Sponsored by the Detox and Treatment Helpline. Call 855-675-6523. Artritis, dolores articulares, dolores musculares, dolores, 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 muchos dolores, una solución. Be Miracle, el milagro de vivir sin dolor. Hace más de 2,400 años, los griegos descubrieron los poderes desinflamatorios de la apitoxina, el veneno de las abejas, que es 100 veces más poderosa que la cortisona, pero sin sus efectos secundarios. A nosotros nos gustaba pasear, caminar, bailar, ir a la discoteca, pero nos llegó la artritis y nos lo arruinó todo. Y ahora, tomando una capsulita diaria del veneno de la abeja, volvemos a disfrutar de la vida. Y gracias a este milagro podemos ser felices. Con una cápsula diaria del veneno de abejas, volví a vivir sin dolores. Be Miracle, el milagro de vivir sin dolor. Hi, my friends. I'm Pastor Clark. I thank you so much for watching the broadcast on a week-to-week basis and also every day, depending on the market that you're in. But I need to hear from you. Contact me on the information on the bottom of the screen. Let's start a dialogue together. I want to walk with you. I want to pray for you. And I want to believe God on your behalf. That's why I'm here, and that's why we spend so much time on social media. Once again, just go to the information on the bottom of the screen. Go to my website, and let's start a conversation together. I love you. Thank you. Okay, so we're back, and I want to continue and complete the rest of this. And this segment says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
your rod and your staff, and, and the, the shepherd would have on his staff all the different testimonies. If they, when, when King David, before he was king, he was a shepherd boy and went to go see Goliath, saw his brothers trying to, trying to combat Goliath, uh, he went and, and he told him, I can take him down. And he says, I did a, a bear and a lion. It was all written on his staff. Those were his testimonies of what he's done. The testimonies of God, the rod, which is the wood staff, which is his word, his, your rod. This is his rod and his staff. They comfort me. His word comforts me. It's very important for you to read his word. He says, your rod and your staff comforts me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. This is where prosperity comes inside your head, your, your heart, inside your life. He prepares a table for you to eat. He puts food on your table. He puts cars in your garage. He puts jobs in front of you. He makes sure that you have an income and that you're taken care of. Without any money, you do not eat. The Bible says a man without, a man who does not work does not eat. So it's important for us to know that God wants to take care of us here. He says, you anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. He anoints us. He has the anointing of God upon our life and our cup runneth over. That means we have everything that we need overflowing so that way we can give to people around us. Uh, in, uh, in the Jewish traditions, uh, uh, in Yom Kippur and uh, during the seders that they have, uh, one of the ceremonies, they put a, a wine glass in a dish and they take the wine and, you know, they don't pour the wine just enough to drink. They pour the wine to where it's enough and then they continue to pour it to where it's on the very lid and then they pour it till it spills over on the side. It's one of their prayers because that is the symbolism of this word that my cup shall overflow. My cup will run over. Is God being wasteful? No. He wants to make sure that when he blesses, he blesses through you. He wants to use you to bless people all around you. Remember, his word is at stake. His testimony is at stake. So he wants you to be blessed to overflowing. And then he says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. The goodness of God. Remember the rich young ruler that went to Jesus and said, good teacher, how must I inherit eternal life? And Jesus told him, why do you call me good? There's none good but God. And here he's saying, surely goodness and mercy, godliness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, that the example and the testimonies of God will be with us forever. He says, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will dwell in the house of God. I will spend my days in his word. I will spend my days studying, learning who he is. God wants to set you free. God wants to be your pastor. God wants to heal you, wants to bless you, wants to multiply you. But you need to be attached to him. When you spend your time with this message and this word and you're watching this teaching, you're at church right now and we're spending time together. I want to pray for you, and I want to believe God on your behalf. Pray, pray with me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to be with my friend right now. As this word stands to be true, allow their cup to run over, provide for their needs, and heal their body. Restore their life and renew their soul. Jesus, be with them right now that they may be able to be ahead of everything that they need in life. For your testimony is at stake, so thereby we believe it to be true. In Jesus' precious name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I want to hear from you. Amen. I want to hear from you. Contact me with the information that's on the bottom of the screen. I'm Pastor Clark. We're going to take a short break, and I want you to listen to these messages here just for a moment, and we'll be right back. Here's a great way to save money on your credit card bills. If you have three or more credit cards and you're way behind on the payments, we can show you a way to make one payment, pay less, and have zero debt. Much faster than just making the minimum payments. Trust me, this is a proven way to reduce your credit card bills and be debt free. Please call our special credit card debt hotline number now. We always promise you a free consultation. 
Tienes que viajar en los próximos 12 meses, ir a ver algún familiar, viaja de negocios o por alguna razón médica. Las aerolíneas están sufriendo por la situación y tienen que prácticamente regalar los asientos disponibles. Ahora mismo es el mejor momento para viajar por las tarifas más bajas en la historia. En Vuelos y Más recibimos especiales de más de 500 aerolíneas todos los días. Así que con tan solo una llamada puedes conseguir tu boleto al mejor precio. Programa tu viaje hoy y ahorra en tu boleto de avión. Son precios tan bajos que no podemos publicarlos en nuestra web, ni decirlos en vivo. La única manera de obtener estas ofertas increíbles es llamando al número que está en pantalla. Así que busca tu teléfono y llama a Vuelos y Más para viajar a precios que jamás volverás a encontrar. No esperes a que las tarifas aumenten. Llama ya y programa tu viaje para que ahorres cientos o miles de dólares. Recuerda, la única forma de obtener estas ofertas es llamando al número que está en pantalla. Llama ya. Thank you so much for staying with me here on the show. I'm Pastor Clark, and this time goes by so quickly. I'd like to give you an opportunity to become a supporter and a sponsor of this broadcast. There's two different ways you can sponsor the broadcast. Number one, if you're a business owner, and if you'd like to have an advertisement on the show, I want to be able to represent you and talk to the people about your company so we can drive business to your business. Or number two, you can financially support by sending a donation. One easy way is through Cash App, and all you have to do is write dollar sign give center, dollar sign give center, or you can go to the website at Center Church Far, and it's spelled P-H-A-R-R dot com, and click on the tab Give Center and follow all the instructions. You can also give by way of debit card right there where on the website where it says uh, subscribe or pay or donate through a uh, credit card. So thank you so much for being with me on the broadcast. Once again, I'm Pastor Clark. And remember, you can watch the broadcast every single day on this channel. And I thank you for being with me. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. I'll go take the day on. Okay, so you're seeing this video and what does this mean? It means that you have the opportunity for new business inside your business. And I'm gonna show you how you can get your business. I'm gonna give you a report card for free. It's a complete report card about how your customers and potential customers see you. It'll show you what the breaches are on websites, issues that you may have with Yelp or Google or Bing. Are you being found on Siri or Google? I wanna be able to help you with your business to bring in new customers. I have the greatest tools that are available guaranteed. All you have to do is contact me on the information on the bottom of the screen. Remember, this talk and conversation that we're gonna have is for free. And of course, if there's something that I can do on an ongoing basis, then we'll have a conversation. I'm Clark Ortiz, 35 years of media marketing and advertising, and I wanna bring in business into your home.